don't know, I got a very creative imagination. And sometimes I wonder, like, I, you know, I do check out the Bible, like, the stories of the Bible are pretty cool. But, like, sometimes I wonder, like, what if, like, Jesus had, like, a secret identity? Like, you know, because everybody knows that he was, like, a carpenter, right? But what if, like, he was two different people? Like, people didn't know that the, the carpenter and Jesus were the same person. Like, he would be the carpenter, hang out with the disciples, and then somebody would be sick, and he'd go off in the forest and come back to Jesus and save that person. Right? Wouldn't the disciples eventually, like, figure, figure this out? They'd be, like, getting real suspicious. Like, one day, like, one of his disciples, Thomas, confront the carpenter. He'd be like, hey, man, I noticed you ain't never around when Jesus is around performing miracles, man. How come is that? How come you're always gone, and then when Jesus goes, you come back? And then the other disciple would be like, yeah, man, what's up with that, Jesus? Some of y'all will get that when y'all wake up in the morning. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and close off with this one. Stuff because I wanted to keep this short. But something that I noticed that y'all do, a lot of you men do stuff, and you got to stop it. You got to stop nicknaming your particular male anatomy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all do that stuff. Give it nicknames. Big John Stud and all that shit. I don't do that. Okay, I don't do that. I think that's degrading. Although I do admit to talking to it from time to time. You know what I mean? You gotta give it some encouragement. Like before I go out on a date, I like to tell it, hey man, um, don't forget you got to be in it to win it. Now, now stand up straight. Alright, y'all on that note, that is my time. Thank you very much for listening to me. One more time, put your hands together for all mine.